I just wear it as a hat and then turn it on. Anyway, and then we have to leave. It's 3.54, we have to go. I'll talk to you in a second. So now I'm gonna go home and open up a couple packages that I've gotten and then paint my nails. Okay, so. But it's like they're in the corner, like they're punished. And I don't want them to be like that. I like my shoes. This is the most dangerous race against the clock. Let me paint my nails red before I have to take something out of the oven and eat it. Hi, this is Katie. This is Crooked. I can't tell. Hi. If you watched my last video that I posted a few days ago, you would know that I am rebranding this channel to basically a vlog channel. So almost all of my videos from now on are going to be vlogs. Whether I'm checking out a new park, I'm traveling, I'm hanging out at the house, I'm running errands, I'm cleaning, whatever it is, they are mostly going to be vlogs now on this channel. And so today I have a bunch of stuff to do. Let me get my phone, hold on. Also, it's a little chilly in here. That's why I'm wearing my jacket. Um, okay, so first of all, it's already 3.45. I have been editing all morning and all afternoon. Um, okay, but the rest of the day, I, let's see, have to pack up some stuff to mail, and then I have to run to the post office, and then I have to go return something at UPS, slat like an Amazon thing to return at UPS, and then I have to open up a couple packages that I got this week, and then I want to organize something in my closet, and then I want to paint my nails and it's already four o'clock. <laughs> so I wanna do all of that in the next like three hours. Can we do it? Maybe, I still feel like this is crooked like this. And also I don't have my ring light on. I think I need to order a new one because you guys know I broke it off of its tripod. So this still works, but now it's just a, a thing. I just wear it as a hat and then turn it on. Anyway, first thing that I'm gonna do really quickly is pack up these two purses to sell. I just wanted to quickly remind you, these have sold, but I do have a bunch of stuff on my, excuse me, I was talking. <laughs> I do have a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark um, that I posted about a week or two ago, and I posted three purses, all the purses have sold, so I just have to mail these two today. But there are a couple of pairs of shoes on there, a couple like new with tags, a pair of jeans and shorts, like higher end stuff, and a bunch of shirts and stuff like that. So I'll have my Poshmark link below. I just wanted to remind you that that is there. A bunch of stuff is on there. A couple new things, and just a couple things that I've worn, you know, in past videos and stuff even. But anyway, we are going to uh, pack these really quickly. When I pack stuff, I have to check 4,000 times, especially with purses, that I didn't leave anything in it. I already checked this one, but I'm like, no, Katie, you have to check again, just in case. Okay, there's nothing in this one. This is a Teddy Blake leather bag. I'm trying to like close it up so I can, actually, I'll probably stuff it. So I just have a couple boxes and I have a bunch of tissue paper. So I'll probably stuff them so they keep their shape a little bit. And then, like I said, it's like 3.45. So I need to leave immediately to go to the post office because they close at five and it's like 10 or 15 minutes away. So I need to leave like now. But I don't wanna do this quickly, but you know, nicely. Okay, so if you are the one who purchased this, hello. This is me packing your order. So yeah, I'm going to run to the post office to mail these and then run to UPS really quickly just to return an immersion blender because you guys know that I'm getting more into cooking and baking and stuff and, all right, there we go. That's good to keep it shape a little bit. I'm getting more into cooking and baking. And so I was like, okay, let me buy an immersion blender. That might be nice to make sauces and soups and stuff, you know? And then I got it. I didn't even try it. I didn't even try it. I just was like, you know what? I probably won't use this. <laughs> and so instead I got a magic bullet from TJ Maxx. That was only like $30 because it's TJ Maxx, but I'm just gonna pack this. I'm gonna, should I like, angle you um but yeah so i just decided that i might not use the immersion blender and right now i'm kind of in like the i only want to buy things that i really really need and or love and the immersion blender i was like mm, you know what i can maybe do without that right now and maybe in the future if i really start to cook more then i'll buy one but for now i just don't need it also this 615 don't be scared that that's like oh katie's giving away where she lives that's just my p.o box okay so there's this one. And then I always write like a little thank you note, but there's that one. And then this leather bucket bag. I'm gonna double check. This one's empty. Oh, I need more tissue paper. Hold on. I 
have this little like makeup bag or toiletry bag that I got at Target that I actually keep all my tissue paper and stickers and glue and like mailing supplies in here, little envelopes and stuff. Very handy for arts and crafts. Okay, you go in here. So yeah, again, if you're ever interested in what I have on my Poshmark, I always have the link in my description. So these are good. I'm just going to write little thank you notes. And then I have these little like happy mail stickers, which I think are so cute. So I'm gonna put these on packages, tape them up. And then with Poshmark, you can either print out a label or you can just bring it to the post office with a QR code that Poshmark gives you and then they'll print out a label. And I don't have a printer, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm just gonna take these little note cards, write a little thank you note, I need to get a Sharpie. My knees crack, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna write them on the desk, hold on a second. Okay, just wrote little thank you notes. Put that in there. Okay, so this is the bucket bag. Okay, we have to leave. It's 3.54, we have to go. I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, packages are mailed. Let's go to UPS. Okay, this is the immersion blender that I got. But again, I didn't even try it. I just realized that I probably won't use this anytime soon. I'm just gonna drop this off at UPS. Okay, got that done. So now I'm gonna go home and open up a couple packages that I've gotten and then paint my nails. I think in my last two vlogs, I was like, oh, I'm gonna paint my nails. And then I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, so just gonna open those packages. Was there something else I had to do? It's on the list, but the list is on my phone and I'm on my phone with you guys right now. So I can't check, but uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go home. Okay, love you, bye. Okay, that's definitely crooked. Hold on. So I was like, oh, I'm about to record. And then I put a candy in my mouth, like a hard candy. So don't mind me. These are so good. The clay, C-L-A-E-Y-S, clays, clays, hard candies. I have the green apple and the watermelon. They're very good. And they say gluten-free right on the packaging. And I have a lot of food allergies, but I can eat these. Well, for now, I know I mentioned about a week, week and a half from now, I'm changing my diet. So I won't be able to have these anymore because they have food coloring in them, which I know is not good for you. Okay, so that's why I'm cutting it out. But for right now, I'm still having these because I didn't change my diet yet. Okay, so. I have a few packages that I wanna open. Obviously the top one, I'll explain. Um, but just a few other packages that I wanna open and show you guys a couple things that I've gotten. Okay, this. First of all, you're like, Katie already opened it. This was not mailed in another box. This was just mailed like this with a shipping label on top. But anyway, these I got, there's a hair. They were in my bathroom. I've obviously already used these. That's why it's out. Anyway, these are basically paper towels for your face. You guys know that I've been struggling with some eye dermatitis. I still have it right now. Underneath my eyes is basically perfectly fine again, but on my eyelid, it is still red and dry. And I was thinking, well, I wonder, and it's probably not, but I was like, I wonder if it has to do with the towels that I'm using, I don't know. And so I was like, you know what? I would feel safer for my face and my sensitive eyes if I got basically like paper towels to dry off my face after I wash my face. Instead of just like using my body towel to dry my face, which I've always done, or even using washcloths, I just, especially since I've had my eye issue, feel safer using these. So I got these. These are the brand Tahoe Trails and it's 80 for like six bucks or something like that. And they're really good, they're very sturdy. I've even used these wet and they don't rip apart or anything. So they're not paper towels. 
That's why you can't just use paper towels. They're not paper towels, but they're kind of similar to that. Or like a dry makeup wipe, that kind of texture, like a really thick paper towel. Yeah, that's it. I got these because I've been nervous about my dermatitis on my eye. And I was like, you know what? Maybe these will be cleaner than the towels that I use. Even if I use a clean face towel, maybe these are cleaner. Okay, that's the first thing I got. <laughs> Next thing I got is in here. From Amazon, obviously. I got these from Amazon too. I'll have all this linked. Okay. I'm excited about these. So I think in one of my last videos and just a bunch of videos before that, I've shown you that I have for at least the last couple years, I have mostly, not always, but mostly used receipts as my bookmarks for books. I told myself last week that I'm allowed to buy bookmarks. So. I got these from Amazon and I only ever use like paper or at least like that kind of shape bookmark, you know, that you just like put in your book. But these are like little clips. Hold on, I'm doing a great job. Great job, Katie, great job. These are like little clips. Oh, they're very thin. I mean, that makes sense. Very thin and oh, they're magnets. Okay, they're just little very thin magnetic clips that you just clip. I mean, imagine this is a book. You just put it here. Oh, that doesn't go through that. Let's make sure it actually works on paper. Hold on. Oh, my pants are buttoned. I mean, I've only been in the house for like 10 minutes, but that's just a surprise. Okay, um, just kidding, <laughs> kind of. Anyway, all right, here's a book with a receipt as a bookmark. But let's just see, do you just take like one piece of paper, I guess? And then this feels like it's more complicated than it needs to be. Oh, okay, perfect. And it just looks like that instead. Do I like that though? Because then it just makes like a little bump in here. I think I'm okay with it for now. I'll think about it. Regardless, again, I'll have these linked below. They're all like nature, outside stuff. And there's a bunch of different patterns. So yeah, I just thought these were really pretty and might be better than using receipts, maybe. Next, this is also from Amazon. And this dun, 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 is salt. I got a two pack of the Redmond Real Salt, the ancient fine sea salt, because I hear that this is really good salt to have like way better than just like the salt that you can buy at the store. And so I got a two pack of these. It was like $12 or so for these like really big uh, containers, things, things of salt. So I got two of those. And then, yes, yes, it has been, I've been recording for eight and a half minutes and I probably started eating this candy like a couple minutes before that. These are big. I didn't even show you. These are huge candies. They're huge. I don't really want to put it on my hands since I've been touching these. I'm going to do it anyway. Look how big this is. It's like a grape. It's the size of a grape. These are huge. But anyway, they're very good. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I have one more package. This one is from Sephora. And this one I got like a week ago, but I've been saving it to open it on camera with you. I've been patient, girl. very loud. Okay, so I ordered two things. And then I got a couple little samples and stuff that I'll tell you about. Okay, the two things that I purchased are two lip liners. And I got the Tower 28 Multi Liner. This is actually a lip, cheek, and eye pencil. And I got this in the color Work of Art which is like a nudish color. And then I got the LYS Speak Love lip liner in the color Soulful. So I wanna swatch these, but I'm gonna wash my hands first. I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. Okay, so this Tower 28 one, I have had in my cart or in like my loves, like my favorites for months. And it's like $15. So I was like, Katie, just buy it. Just buy it already. You've wanted it for a very long time. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a pencil that you have to sharpen. That was on very tight. Can you see that? 
pretty, pretty, pretty. The lighting in here is very dark, but I think it's pretty. And then this LYS one. And these are both gluten-free, by the way, because I do have a gluten allergy. And yes, that means that even my lipstick and my toothpaste and all that kind of stuff, I check, it won't come out. Aha, got it. So this one I got in like a dark, cool tone brown, I believe. Okay, so again, it is dark in here. So the LYS one is the top one. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Should I put one on? I don't have a mirror in here. And I have chapstick on. Okay, you're my mirror. Oh goodness. This is what I got from Sephora. And then now, am I gonna have to worry about this? No, I'm just gonna blend it in. So I don't have to worry about it like getting all over everything else. But now I wanna show you the little freebies that I got. So this, I guess I didn't realize that this was a full size of this, what? Okay, so this was one of those, like if you type in a code, I forgot what it's called, like a beauty offer. I think that if you type in a code, you get something for free. So it's not using my points or anything. And so I got the Anastasia Lash Sculpt, their lengthening and volumizing mascara. And this, maybe it is a sample size, but this is big. 0.17 fluid ounces, how big are regular mascaras? I don't know, but this looks big. I've never tried this, it had good reviews, but again, it was free. It was totally free. No points, no nothing, just free. Looks like this, I'm not gonna put this on because of my eye issues that I'm dealing with. I'm not currently even wearing mascara. That's a pretty big size for being free. That's cool, it might be a sample size. I can't tell, I don't know. Regardless, that's cool, excited to try that. And then the two like little freebie samples, if they have it, I will either get fragrances or like the little shampoo and conditioner, little trial sizes. And so they had two fragrances. So I got Replica Beach Walk, which here's the thing. I have tried this before and I can't remember if I love it or not. And then I also got Giorgio Armani My Way. So let's just smell these really quickly. Mmm. No, wait. This smells like magazine perfume from 20 years ago. You know what I'm talking about? When you used to read like Cosmo Girl and then in the middle they would have those like little samples. I'm sure they still do that in magazines. <laughs> but it reminds me of like 20 years ago. It's okay. It's a little like rosy, which is weird because it's beach walk. So I assumed it would be more coconutty or, you know, like that kind of smell, but it's more rosy. It's not bad, but like, I wouldn't buy a full size of that. I don't think. Okay. Now Giorgio Armani, my way. Where do I spray this one? Top of my hand. It smells like mature cotton candy. But kind of not in a bad way. I should start a new channel just describing scents because I'm very good at it. No, that one's pretty okay. It's okay. I can't describe it. I can't describe it. Don't, don't come to me for scent advice. I mean, my two favorite perfumes are Replica Sailing Day, I forgot the name of it for a second. Replica Sailing Day is delicious, a perfect summer scent. And then what I'm wearing right now, well, not like the second, obviously, but what I'm wearing like through the winter is Fleur, Missing Person. That one, I love it, I love it, I love it. Those smell so good. The Missing Person one is like really like warm and cozy, like you just wanna cuddle up with it. And then Sailing Day is like more like of a fresh scent for summer. This is a little mature for me, I would say, than my way. And I don't know, they're both, they're both fine. They're both fine. I don't hate them. They're not like, oh my goodness, this is the worst thing in the world. But they're not like, oh my goodness, my favorite. They're, they're fine, they're fine. If you've tried these, let me know if you like them. I think that they're fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna put all this stuff away because I've made a mess. I've made a mess. So I'm going to clean that up. Again, I'll have everything linked below just in case you're curious. I'm almost done with the candy. <laughs> almost. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to do before I painted my nails was go through my closet because, let me finish this, hold on. There's like a sliver left. 
So the last thing on my list to do, again, because I edited for like eight hours this morning and this afternoon. So the rest of my day was just running those errands, opening these packages and a couple other things. I really do want to paint my nails. I'll probably paint my toenails and give myself a little pedicure too, but I'll do that off camera. But at least I'll like paint my nails and hang out with you guys. But before that, I want to go through my closet. Here's the thing. 95% of my closet is organized really, 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 really great really not perfect, but great. Like I really like how my closet is organized except for my shoes. And I realized more lately that it's kind of bothering me a little bit where my shoes are in my closet and how they're organized. And so I wanna see if there's any way that I can fix it without spending any money. So let's go in my room, let's go in my closet and let's see if there's a solution here. Let's like figure it out together. I really wanna eat another candy, but I'm not going to because I'm trying to be polite, okay? <laughs> Okay, hi. So I organized my closet in a video from a few months ago and I really like how it's organized. Like all my pants and stuff are in here, most of my shirts and my underwear and bras and stuff are in here, my exercise clothes, my leggings, and then up here are some sweatshirts and some of my pajamas and then a bunch of stuff hanging. I think it works out really well. I like it a lot. But my shoes are in that corner. I'm just gonna show you on my phone. There's in a basket in the corner. I think it's just a little bit too annoying to get to them, you know? Okay, so there's my little shoe basket in the corner, but it's like they're in the corner like they're punished and I don't want them to be like that. I like my shoes. And so I just want to either, I don't know, either keep them in the corner but organize them a little bit better or move them somewhere else. Because this right now, like, it's just kind of a hassle to get to. I mean, it's dark in there obviously, but like if I'm trying to find matching shoes, it's kind of difficult and I have to like, go through them and throw them around and stuff, you know? So I was kind of thinking putting, you know, like four or six pairs up here, like the four or six pairs I wear the most and then moving this up to the top of my closet. But I really like how this is like this. So I don't know, let's, let's brainstorm. I think the options are, the immediate ones that come to mind are, like I said, to move these up there and then put my most worn shoes up here. But I don't really like that idea because I like how this is right now. Or I can take, oh goodness, I can take just, you know, three or four pairs that I wear all the time, put them in that corner without the basket, just lay them out. But that doesn't really make sense either because then where would the rest go? I guess I could put the rest under my bed. But like, I like the idea of all my shoes being together. I don't really like picking favorites and then putting the rest somewhere else. And so the only other option I can think of is putting them all under my bed. Then it's like, do I put them like here? I have this. I might actually have two of these, actually. I have this bag and this one has all my purses in it. I don't have that many. This is pretty, it's only like halfway filled, but I have all my purses in here. Let me show you. All my purses are in here. Do I have a second one of these? But then I put my shoes in there, but then is it still gonna be the same problem that they're like not like, you know, organized? They're just in a bag under the bed. I really don't wanna have to buy something, but I don't like how this is right now. And I don't wanna just like line them up against a wall or something like that. And I don't want to move these because I don't have that many. I mean, I guess it matters who you ask. I probably have, I don't actually even know, maybe 15 pairs of shoes, including like my hiking sandals and all that stuff. But I only really wear like every day, like maybe four or five pairs, like some sneakers, these new shoes that I got a few months ago. These are like Tory Burch, like, I know they kind of look like Uggs, but I don't like Uggs, but I really like these. These were on like a super clearance at Saks Off Fifth. And I really like these. So I wear these. I will wear my New Balance sneakers that I got last year. These are the 340, 327s? I don't remember, but I'll wear these a lot. And then, I don't know. I don't know. Like my hiking sandals, obviously. Okay, let me see what's under my bed. Let me see options, hold on. <gasps> Ooh, you know what? You know what? Now I don't know if that's gonna help. I have like a little bin thing. Let me find it. Also, welcome to the Katie process of organizing and Katie trying to figure things out. Okay, so I have this bin. Hold on. I mean, it's collapsed right now, but it's pretty big. You just gotta like put the metal things down, you know, to open it. But I still think that this would be the same problem as that, unless I just like put them in there by pairs but then I'd still have to pile them and it would, I think, still be the same issue. Let me 
get all my shoes out. I don't want to think about this for more than like two more minutes. Because then that just seems like a waste of time, you know? Okay, so I have this basket. Oh, goodness. Some shoes are still over there. This basket. I'm going to like put my shoes in pairs. So I have this pair of hiking sandals. I have this pair of hiking sandals, but I broke these. Why do I still have them? I ripped these. They got caught on a door and I ripped them. I don't think I'm going to be able to glue that together. I don't think so. I think I just need to get rid of these and buy a new pair. And then I have a black pair that I think are in the car actually, but these I'm going to toss. I have a pair of loafers. I have a pair of like plastic slides. I have a pair of Skechers. I have my New Balances. I have these Vivea, Vivea, little like fuzzy slides. I have these shoes that, if you know how to get stains out of suede, can you please let me know? I tried like vinegar, it didn't work. But look how beautiful these shoes are, but they are very stained. But I have this pair of shoes. Very pretty, I've had those for a long time. I don't wear them very often, but I really like them a lot. I have a pair of just black, uh, Nikes that I've had again for a very long time. These are my favorite shoes. I've also had these for a very long time. I mean, look at them. You can tell. I don't buy new shoes very often. Where's the other one of these? Oh, over here. Okay. So I have these new ish. Got these a few months ago, Tory Burch. And then I have these slides that are like leopard print again, very old from Zara. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 pairs of shoes. Oh no, and my other hiking sandals, 12 pairs of shoes. Is that it? I feel like I'm missing a pair. Oh, and I do have another pair of like proper hiking sneakers, like boot sneakers in the car. So 13 technically, but those I just leave in the car. But okay, so like, this is not a ton of shoes. Let me show you. Like, I have a couple pairs of slippers too, but they're like the mushy kind. Okay, so here's all my shoes. I don't know what to do about them. And, oh no, I do have two other pairs of shoes. They're just in the other room. I was like, I feel like I have more. I have a pair of suede boots that are in the other room because it's Florida and it's winter, but it's still like 60 degrees. And yes, I can still wear my suede boots, but I just usually wear them if I'm really cold. And then I also have a pair of fuzzy Steve Madden slides as well, again, in the other room that again, I would really only wear like if it was cold out. So anyway, I have no clue what to do with these, but I just don't like them in this basket because they're all just thrown in and I just don't like that. So I don't know what to do. And I really just don't want to buy anything else, but I honestly, I honestly might have to because I do have a little bit of room over here in the closet up here. So I could, and I, I might just have to order or just go to Target or Walmart and buy one of these things, but for shoes, that might be my best option. They're not that expensive. I just was really hoping to find a solution without having to buy something. But that honestly might be what I end up doing. I think that would make me feel more organized. And you guys know that I've been on that kind of journey of like decluttering my brain, decluttering my life. And this is not necessarily decluttering because I like all my shoes, but I want to organize them in a way that like doesn't stress me out when I'm trying to find a pair of shoes, you know? And so I think that I might just end up doing that because I do have all this space over here. Like from here over, there's nothing hanging. So I could buy one or even two of those hanging shoe rack slot things that are like this. Okay, I'll probably do that. So for now, I'm just gonna put them all back in here, I guess. Okay, well, at least I made a decision, okay? Because sometimes I get into like analysis paralysis and I like think of every option, but then it takes me like a week, no. I know that, you know, I still talked about it for 10 minutes, but to me, that's pretty quick. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, so now I am going to eat something quick. What time is it? I think it's like 5.30. Yeah, 5.31, dinner time. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can put this back without dropping them. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Okay, I did it, okay, great. And then I just left out like the two that I wear the most. I'll just put them on top. I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but I'll show you two seconds of that. And then we're just gonna paint my nails and chill out a little bit. Okay, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I'm actually putting a chicken pot pie in the oven now, and then I'm gonna paint my nails while this is cooking, because this is gonna take like 40 minutes, and then I'll eat after. It's this Blake's gluten-free chicken pot pie. These are really good. I do like to add a little bit more seasoning when they come out of the oven, but they're very good. Okay, let's get a nice background. Whoa, look at that. Okay, the problem is the sun is going down, 
So it's gonna be really dark in here because again, my whole ring light issue. But I decided I'm gonna have a chicken pot pie. I'm filing one now. I decided I'm gonna have a chicken pot pie and those take like 40 minutes in the oven. So I just put that in the oven. Now I'm gonna paint my nails, hopefully in 40 minutes. And then I'll eat the chicken pot pie. Hopefully my nails will be dry by then. This should be, right? All right, just filing them down a little bit, just like the corners. Cause I like to have them a little rounded. And then I don't know what color, I'm kind of thinking red. I might do red, but it's dark in here. So I might go get my broken ring light and just balance it on something. But I already cut my cuticles and I'm almost done filing them. And then base coat, color, top coat, done. And then chicken pot pie time. It's the Blake's gluten-free one. They're pretty good. But also, like I said in a couple of my last videos, I'm changing my diet. And even in this video, I think I already said it. I'm changing my diet soon. And so I'm kind of eating my way through my pantry and my freezer. My next video on Sunday is going to be like a whole video of me eating my way through my freezer. But I'm currently doing that a little bit now as well because when I change my diet, I don't want to have all this food that I wasted, you know? And so I'm waiting a week or a week and a half to change my diet so that I can eat all the food that I still have that's not on my diet. You know what I mean? So this chicken pot pie is not gonna be on my new diet because there's canola oil in it and a few spices and I'm cutting out all seed oils and vegetable oils and all that kind of stuff. And I'm also almost definitely cutting out most spices as well. So I have two chicken pot pies, so I'm gonna eat one today. I might even eat another one tomorrow. Let me go get my ring light, my broken ring light. Do I just need to buy a new one and stop talking about it? I don't know. I also have a LaCroix. Cheers. Definitely taking this off so that I don't get nail polish on it. Like if I roll the sleeves up and they accidentally fall down and get red nail polish on it, I'll cry. I'll cry hysterically. Okay, BRB. You guys. Ooh, ah. This is the most dangerous race against the clock. Let me paint my nails red before I have to take something out of the oven and eat it. It's dangerous, but that's my middle name. It's not. My middle name is Mary. <laughs> okay. That lighting's okay, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I have 35 minutes. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, okay I'm going to use the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. This one, this like original-ish one, it says Advanced Hard as Nails. I'm gonna use this as my base coat. I love this. It's a really good nail strengthener. There we go. But also before I do that, I'm gonna take out my nail polish that I'm gonna use, which is, this is the Essie Gel Couture in the color 270 Rock the Runway. And then I'm also gonna use the Essie Gel Couture Top Coat. These are not actually gel, they just last a long time and they're really shiny. I mentioned I was gonna buy this top coat a couple weeks ago and I did and I used it once and it was fine, good, but not like spectacular. But I used it with a different kind of nail polish and so now that I'm gonna use it with the Gel Couture color, I wonder if it's gonna be better, but we're gonna try it, okay. It's still really dark in here for me. I just put the light where hopefully it'd be lighter for you because I love you guys, but it's gonna be dangerous to do red nail polish in the dark and then eat chicken pot pie. Okay, I always take my glasses off when I paint my nails because I'm nearsighted. So I can see basically perfectly about like a foot in front of me, but like the camera that it's like two feet away from me, blurry. Me in the viewfinder, blurry, blurry. P.S. This is not how I normally paint my nails. I usually like balance it on my leg or something, but I'm just trying to, I don't know, I'm filming. So I'm trying to like show you a little bit. I'm definitely gonna do the color balanced. I always hold here, I'll do this. I move the light. Is that like perfect? It might be perfect. I can't tell. I'll find out in editing. Okay, I'm not gonna talk because it's red nail polish. Gotta pay attention. Beautiful color, beautiful. I've worn this one before. I like red nails. I'm very either like neutral, like a nude color or like a pinky nude color, a real light pink, or I've been into brown nail polish lately too, or red. I have a couple other colors as well, but I would say my favorites are more neutrals and red for nail polish. So pretty. I am gonna do two coats, but it honestly doesn't even really need it.
I usually wait till my nails are longer to do red, but like that looks really pretty. Okay, one more quick coat and then top coat and I have 28 minutes left. Oh man, I might have a good 20 minutes to dry my nails. So this might work. I'll definitely have a little bit to clean up on the edges once it's dry. So I'll just take nail polish remover on a Q-tip to clean up like the skin around my nails. Oh, I know I said earlier, this is the gel couture, but it's not real gel, but it just lasts a long time and stuff. Um, also, it is easy to take off. That's my biggest issue with actual gel nail polish. I think it looks beautiful, but it's so hard to take off. This removes just like regular nail polish. So I like this line. I think it's really nice. I have a couple, I think I have like three nail polishes from this gel couture line. And I had a fourth, I think, I think it was the color Fairy Tailor. It was like a nudish color, but I didn't like it because first of all, as much as I love nude colors, that one after a couple days looked like a yellowish nude on me, which I did not like. It honestly just kind of looked like my nails were a little bit dirty. And also I think it even maybe chipped more. So I don't know if the whole line is super consistent, but at least I have this red one. I'll show you the other two that I have after I finish this last nail. Okay, so yeah, I have this one, number 270, Rock the Runway. Also have, I'm doing this so carefully. <laughs> I also have this blue, it's like a denim -y blue, 173 Cut Loose. And then this that I wear all the time, I love this one, this really light nudish pink. That's in the color 144 Inside Scoop. I really like that one a lot. Okay, so now let's do a top coat quick. And then I'm just gonna let them dry. Okay. Again, I'm gonna wait till it dries and then clean up my cuticles, but I think that's so pretty. I hope you can see the color here. I've been doing YouTube for almost nine years. You'd think I'd understand how lighting works by now. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna let these dry and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, and oh, you can't really see this at all. Maybe you can, I don't know. I just ordered this from Amazon. It's the Whitmore Hanging Shoe Shelves eight section. And I have 11 pairs of shoes. I think we saw Well, like 13, but some of them are really small. So I can just double them up. And this was $12, including tax and stuff. It was like 13 something. So I will get this in a couple days. The lighting is very off. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. My nails are dry. I have like five minutes until my pot pie is done. Perfect timing. So I'm just going to get some nail polish remover on a Q-tip and go on my cuticles to get the nail polish off. Okay, it's very hard to see. And then the rest of the nail polish will just come off my cuticles after a couple days of washing my hands and stuff. But I just wanna get them as clean as I can. On some spots, I'm like leaving it for a second so it soaks and then wiping it. Okay, they're obviously not 100% dry, um, I feel like depending on the top coat that can actually take a while to do, but they're dry enough, but I'm still going to be really careful when I take the pot pie out of the oven. <laughs> but anyway, that's what they look like. Is that focused? Such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. Okay, let's go get the pot pie. Ooh, that's okay. A tiny bit burnt. <laughs> Only a tiny bit. Yeah, that's only a tiny bit burnt just on the edge, but that's looking good. I'm gonna add some onion powder, probably a little garlic powder, and then salt and pepper. Oh, I can use that new salt that I got. I guess I could have done this before it went in the oven, but whatever. And I'll have some pepper, just a little salt. Okay, time to eat. Did I smush my nail polish a little bit when I was opening the salt? Yes. Only a little. Like, I'm going to leave it, I think. You can't even really tell. It's on my thumb. In like a corner. It's fine. Thank you, God, so much for my food. In Jesus' name, amen. This is very hard to eat like this. I'm going to have to put the plate down. But I just want to have a bite on camera. And then I'm going to go eat. There's carrots. There's peas in there somewhere. Can you see the steam? I'm gonna wait a minute to have this bite. I think after I eat, honestly, I think I'm gonna like take my makeup off, put pajamas on, and I might get in bed at like 7.30. 
I did that the other day too. That's just kind of been the mood I'm in lately. Like I'm gonna get in bed. Again, I mean, I've been working since like 7 a.m. And so I think I'm gonna get in bed and put on full house and just like have a LaCroix, hang out a little bit and just like chill, I guess. Okay. These are good. If you're gluten-free and if you're okay eating some frozen meals sometimes, these are really good ones. It's like a big chunk of potato. Mm. All right, one more bite and then I'll close the video. But again, when I change my diet, I'm not gonna be able to eat these because there's canola oil in them and some spices and stuff. Obviously I'm just cutting out, but I'll explain way more of that in my next video and then in next Sunday's video as well. I'll explain more, but I just wanna show you one more meal that I'm having. I almost just dropped it. Mm, oh, so hot. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I really hope that you're subscribed for a lot more vlogs like this, me going out and about, running errands, hanging out at the house, sometimes going on road trips and stuff like that. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.